Hello Scorpio, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading. It will be for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be for February 2022, so I hope you're well. Remember Scorpio, these readings won't be for everybody, so just take what resonates with you and they are mainly messages. Let's see what we have for our lovely Scorpios, please, Angel Spirits Guides. If you enjoy this reading, find it resonates, please do like, share, subscribe, hit the bell to receive future reading notifications. I would greatly appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, so your card has turned over. We have first message, which is let go. Once you let go of the outcome, you'll be able to release all the emotional constraints that have held you back in the past. Trust in the higher go highest good and guidance of spirit as we have only your best intentions at heart and we'll do everything in our power to protect you. It feels like you're being told to surrender because, you know, a higher power is at work. But also this energy of maybe you're dealing with a situation that's beyond your control here and sometimes there's an energy of trust. Okay, I'm going to pull an Archangel Michael card for you, Scorpio. Let's see what we have. What do we have for Scorpio, please? Angel Spirits Guides. What is the message for Scorpio? Thank you. Thank you. Ask, Ar ask Archangel Michael to help you with this situation. So I feel you might be given some guidance here or help. Archangel Michael... Thank you for assisting me with this situation. Please help me be filled with faith and peace at all times. You're being told to ask here. I feel it's a clear direction. Ask for help and it's going to be given. Okay, let's see what else we have, Scorpio. I'm going to pull one more oracle card and then we will pull the tarot cards. What do we have for Scorpio, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for our lovely Scorpios, thank you. Message for our lovely Scorpios, thank you. Thank you. Purification. I love the sunflower because it's a happy energy. And it's an abundant energy as well. Purification can be an energy of cleansing. You know, that could be a health thing. You know, for some of you, it could also be to do with um, cleansing toxic energy or toxic situations or attachments. Again, whatever this situation is, it could be in your external environment or internal. But I feel in this energy here, Scorpio, there is an opportunity to to cleanse something that needs to be cleansed. I mean, it feels quite cathartic because, you know, the cleansing process allows us to release, allows us to release things that don't serve our highest good anymore, you know? So there is some kind of catharsis going on here, catharsis, purification, cleansing energy, detoxing. That could be anything from, you know, our own habits, you know, our own unhealthy habits and so on. It could be also to do with someone or something that you're dealing with in your external environment and you have an opportunity to cleanse from it. Okay, seems quite a significant message I'm getting so far. Let's see what we have. I am going to use the Gilded Tarot Royale and if we need to pull extra cards, I will be using the traditional Gilded Tarot. Okay, what is the message for Scorpio, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for Scorpio. What is the message from Spirit for Scorpio? Thank you. Thank you. We have the Nine of Wands. We have Justice. Justice is coming up quite a bit in the readings this month. 
we have the seven of cups and bottom of the deck the three of cups Yeah, I feel spirit is telling you that you've been dealing with some kind of situation here, Scorpio, and you're not sure what the outcome's going to be, but you're being told not to worry. Let go of the outcome, surrender and trust. The Nine of Wands indicates that it's been a testing journey, a testing and arduous process. And even though the next step, again, it's the Nine of Wands, and this leads to the Ten of Wands, which is, you know, the heaviest of the burden. However, even though that, there's that final step to go and somebody isn't sure, is it worth it? Do I give up? You know, which way do I go here? I feel in this energy you're being told that there's a higher power at work here and there's assistance available to you energetically, spiritually from the angels, angel spirit and guides to assist you on the final leg of the journey because there's certainly an energy of celebration with this. The Nine of Wands is generally the wounded warrior and implies that it's always darkest before the dawn. However, there is a sign that things are going to end positively here for you. For some of you, it might well be you've tested, been tested in a specific life area here. And there's a message here that spirit is helping you on the final step, on the final journey towards completing something here. Because again, justice can be that karmic energy. What you put into something is what you get back. Actions have consequences. You know, everyone's actions is judged impartially, you know, and, um, and again, it is a karmic energy of karmic reward. Sometimes we get what we deserve and that can be a positive thing. It can also be sometimes, you know, that kind of decision in legal terms too. It might well be for some of you that you're waiting on a decision of some kind. It could be a legal thing for some of you here, Scorpio. For others of you, it could be this energy of, am I going to get what I've been working towards and getting what I deserve? Because it feels sometimes we think things are over, things are done, we've done everything that we can, and then something else comes up. And there's another, hurt, another hurdle or another hump loop, another loop to jump through. And I feel you're being given assistance, whatever that situation is. Because there's an energy of celebration coming your way the seven of cups with justice is it feels like this energy of i don't know i'm confused i don't know which way this decision is going to go and again it suggests that something is imbalanced in your life that needs to be rebalanced now for some of you there could be an impartial third party could be a legal thing a government institution it could be to do with, you know, union officials. You know, it is that kind of institutional energy if it's a third party. So it, it feels some kind of third party for some of you maybe making a decision and it feels like it's going to go in your favour. You're being told not to worry. Again, the happy energy of the sunflower applies that. There will be an opportunity to purify and let go of this situation. Even though you might have another hurdle to face, maybe early February, it feels for some of you, and there may well be confusion in terms of an outcome, you know, there is certainly an energy. At the end of this, there's going to be celebration. Again, the Three of Cups, celebrating with you, your family, your friends, and so on and so forth. For others of you, there is an energy here of... of karmically karmically maybe you're waiting on some kind of outcome here of something that has been a testing journey that could be in terms of that could be in terms of um business things for example you know could be to do towards you know bringing positive changes in the job front business front it implies that there's some decision that you're waiting for here because for some of you, you're hopeful. I mean, you're, you might be pursuing new hopes, new dreams, but you're not sure. You're not sure what the outcome is going to be. And I feel this is the energy of a karmic reward. So again, some kind of decision being in your favor because you deserve it. So again, from a kind of business point of view or other areas where that might apply, there's an energy here of some kind of final decision here 
which brings some kind of positive outcome and restore, restores balance in a situation, but in the light of truth. And the truth is probably how far spirit has seen you work towards this and the effort that you've put in, in terms of overcoming what has been a very testing journey. So there is a feeling of you deserve whatever is coming your way. And again, three of cups is leading to celebration. This is an energy of there's going to be a reason to celebrate. So for some of you, it's a karmic thing in terms of spirit saying, this is what you deserve. Let go because I feel a higher power is, in, is involved. And soon you will be able to cleanse and release from a situation that has been very trying and testing. So beautiful energy, the Three of Cups, and it implies Scorpio, the winter is over, the spring is here. This is very good in terms of something being uplifted. This can be an actual celebration as well. Um, but it's where people, your community, people you're connected to are coming together to celebrate. Celebrate, I feel the outcome of this situation. Um, it is also quite uh, the beginning of a harvest, you know, the beginning of reaping your harvest. So again, something that has been testing here, you're beginning to reap the fruits of your labour here. You're finally seeing the results that you've been working towards. So again, that is the reason for the celebration. That's the celebration. That's the reason for the get together or the, the being united people who will unite and come together to celebrate some kind of positive outcome for you. But I love that image. I can't stop looking at it. <laughs> it feels very sun energy, but it definitely feels you finally have an opportunity to release, let go, cleanse with the help of spirit, angels, guides. So remember, it's really important. If you need help, ask for it because it will be given. Okay. Final message for Scorpio, please. Angel Spirits Guides, final message for Scorpio. We have be creative, look for ways to build, grow and manifest. Number 36. I'm going to pull you one more, Scorpio. We understand that sometimes you may feel alone, but we are always here. Number 12. Yeah, really beautiful messages. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thank you.